Hey guys, what is up YouTube? It is Electro Stuff, and before I start this video, I want to say this is my third video of today. I don't know if this will go up today, but I have been grinding like crazy this whole day, and I plan on doing it for the whole next two weeks and longer. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So without a doubt, let's get straight into the video. So today we're going to be talking to you guys about another crazy, crazy story. And I know you're probably thinking, where are these crazy stories coming? Are these actually real? And yeah, they are real. And it's all happened in my old school. It's That was a really crazy school, now that I think about it. And I have so much evidence as well. Like, if you guys ever want evidence, just just comment down below. You want evidence. And I will give you evidence, because I have all the evidence to back me up. So anyway, without a doubt, once again, like I said earlier, let's get straight into it. So, basically, it's a long, long story. But we'll start off with the main character of today is Big Joe. If you don't know, I mentioned Big Joe in my last video. Um... Oh, my last story video and it's the same guy who got like kind of like a fight with a teacher so it is another story with him and it's actually how he got expelled from this school pretty crazy stuff right so he was accused of rape let's ask some kid about rape he's fucking 14 or was he 15 no he's 15 and he was accused of this now at first you know you might be thinking is this real is this like this bad uh it's not funny um I do know for a fact that it's not true, they even proved him like innocent, but I'll get to that in a bit. But more importantly, he is the kind of guy who would actually go around the way. And not like the kind of guy who raised, but he's more of the kind of guy who would get into the, like, you know, he's the party guy, that kind of guy, you know, the one who smokes weed, that kind of guy. So it's kind of understandable that he would get into the situation. So basically some girl who doesn't like him accused him of this and they went to the police about this and the police did get involved and they did a full search and after a search and properly like inspecting it they found out that he was innocent in fact what had happened it was there was like some beef between these two people and she accused him of inappropriately like touching him oh, touching her touching him okay i'm getting a little bit confused here anyway so he was wrongly accused and the thing is they first of all found evidence that he was wrongly accused and second of all more importantly she admitted to it so they went to court they had the whole court case lawyers and all that cool stuff and they dropped the charges you know because she was innocent and she admitted it and all of that good stuff but my school being the shitty scummy school that it is just you know they had expelled him before this when before the court case had happened um they wouldn't let him back in and that is primarily because the school does have a terrible track record but what you don't want to do is wrongly accuse somebody expel them and then not bring them back in with your terrible track record. That's not the way to do it. Like, you're not helping anybody there. And you're just making it harder for yourself. You've just like made a lot of the school hate you. Considering he was quite a popular kid. And his brother was quite popular. And a lot of people know them. Like it, they, they, they were significant in the school. With with him missing. There is a, an effect. Like people realised it. And that's another key thing. Like it's just angered people. In fact they had a whole... Um, I think it was like a Patreon thing or something like that to help him get out or petition thing, sorry, and uh, to you know help him get back in. And you know it was to like, get a thousand signatures. I think it got a thousand signatures, and they still wouldn't let him in. Which, in my opinion, is kind of bullshit. But you know, what can you do? You you really can't do anything. It's the f it's the school's final word, I guess. Which really sucks because you know this school, not the best school to go to. Anyway, so he's been expelled and he's not let back in. I don't know what the situation is with him right now. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, but yeah, that's just something that I thought I would share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. It was a pretty crazy story and I have a ton more to come. I think I have, okay, I say ton more. I think I have like more than like five or 10 more left of these crazy insane stories. So, so, if, uh, so if you enjoyed the story, please leave a like, comment down below you enjoyed it and I will make another video for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I will, and I will see. Okay, goodbye.